Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the U.S. markets uh, midday, uh, or should we say, morning update for uh, in the American uh, audience. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of the U.S. markets, we certainly are open. Uh, Asian and uh, European markets more or less flat, stroke positive, uh, and awaiting Mr. Trump's uh, next potential uh, move. Okay, now in terms of U.S. markets, let's look at the technical picture. Uh, in terms of fundamentals, first and foremost, we've had uh, GDP weaker, goods trade balance weaker, wholesale inventories weaker, and PCE weaker as well. Personal consumption and uh, expenditures certainly isn't a good sign. So again, net net negative, negative for the dollar, negative for growth, and negative for the equities, from my understanding. Also, with regards to Mr. Trump, I personally, my again. This is some me obviously superimposing my understanding and my view. Mr. Trump really uh, thus far has failed to provide any uh, insightful or um, positive uh, details in terms of the uh, the actual market itself. Bear with me. Okay, so again, uh, really lack of details. Again, is net and negative from my understanding, my interpretation. Uh, monetary policy certainly is, uh, is 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 being squeezed. Uh, certainly hawkish in nature. Uh, tighter mon monetary policy again going forward. Uh, it certainly doesn't bode well for uh, U.S. equities. So again, a hawkish Fed, higher interest rates hurts emerging markets. Emerging markets swing back and hurt uh, U.S. growth. Again, Mr. Mr. Uh, Trump's. Uh, push uh, well certainly uh, proposal of this uh, BAT a uh, border adjustment tax certainly isn't positive tariffs protectionism mercantilism etc will certainly come back and and, and, and and bite them in the the rear end so, so to speak so again uh, it certainly is net and negative again mr trump's potential perspective and view his uh, 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 character except everything really permeates from his is, is very negative in nature okay so again the markets have enjoyed this so-called fiscal stimulus rally and it really is coming to an end okay especially when mr warren buffett warns that the market could could melt you have uh, Ray Dalio certainly switching his bias as well. Goldman Sachs indicating a potential market top here. So really, it's about buy the rumor, sell the news. So again, Mr. Uh, Trump's uh, potential, uh, obviously, uh, speech tonight uh, again will be uh, a sell the fact or sell sell the rumor type uh, type event. Okay, so again, buy the rumor, sell the fact. So that's basically what we're looking for. Okay, now let's just see if uh, the technicals uh, adhere to that. Fundamentals certainly are in a, in a negative note today. Certainly bearish in my view. Okay, again, GDP missing as well. Personal consumption expenditure lower as well. Uh, trade balance certainly weaker as well. So again, everything indicating lower. So let's see exactly where the uh, the actual equity markets. Square off now. Uh, U.S. equities. I always look at the Russell and the Dow transports to see exactly where we are. Uh, the daily chart, the Dow transports. We had the breakout, it was a fake out, and then we, we fell fell back lower. And there has been nothing, uh, nothing since. Now we've not had a uh, uh, a breakout as such so far. So again, certainly not a good sign. 60-minute chart of the uh, the actual Dow transports tells you that you are into resistance. You have this diagonal trend line resistance. Now you do have gap fill here and gap fill here. So two gaps certainly left open above. Given the fact that we haven't closed them, isn't exactly a good sign. Let's put it that way. Okay. So again, looks looks certainly negative uh, in from my understanding and my view. 10-minute chart really, I think the 60 minutes more than enough. Now we've had a rally, uh, and that rally certainly is coming to an end from my understanding. So Dow Transport's negative. Okay. Let's look at the Russell now. Russell 2000. Let's see where we are with the Russell. Here we go, Russell 2000. Okay, so we've had this breakout, no real uh, push higher. It's, it's been a fake out thus far, just bear that in mind. Okay, daily chart, you're into resistance. Let's move over to the 60. 60 million chart, you certainly are held double top. Uh, and now double top certainly seems to be the resistance barrier, okay, failing to move higher. So again, uh, Russell is into resistance. Dow Transport's into resistance, going into a potential Trump speech. Again, net net risk off okay so my two leaders okay are telling me that we're into risk aversion mode okay let's look at the uh, the dow jones dow jones has been moving higher regardless okay it certainly is uh, on a one-way trip now the 60 minute chart certainly is putting in a double top as well you have an unfilled gap left behind very hard for us to penetrate and move higher again any move higher will be a potential fake out especially with mr trump's lack of policy details daily chart on the s p 500 certainly held that more well actually hasn't closed but more or less held that gap on the daily chart, we're certainly into uh, no man's land, double top on the S&P 500, all eyes on that double top. Okay, so keep watching the double top on the S&P, certainly expecting that to hold on the back of obviously weaker fundamentals. 
and therefore looking to move lower so bear that in mind okay now let's move over to the uh, Nasdaq now Nasdaq itself certainly seems to be uh, over exhausted as well looking at the daily chart the Nasdaq again no real breakout as such no new higher high 60 minute chart certainly has put in a lower high if you take the pivot high to the pivot low so far you're certainly holding fib 75 percent so again looking to flush lower looking to move lower looking to test that low again at 5300 on the s p 5 or should we say nasdaq itself okay so again nasdaq certainly showing weakness looking at a 10 minute chart nasdaq showing weakness here as well previous resistance equals support after closing that gap uh, again the uncertainty for mr trump's speech lack of policy details and given the fact that he's focusing more on defense spending as opposed to tax reform certainly is a net net negative so again looking for potential support below at 5335 to to come into play here and then potentially open up that support at 5325 as well so just certainly keep an eye on that okay in terms of the um the actual uh, leaders for the Nasdaq, let's just quickly look, bring up the biotechs. Biotechs certainly looking, from my perspective, top heavy into resistance, okay? Bringing up the semiconductors as well. Where are those semiconductors? Bear with me. There we go, semiconductors as well, looking top heavy from my understanding. Certainly looking to look looking to put in a potential reversal. We have the HNS formation, but that certainly isn't going to play out for now because the right shoulder certainly has exceeded quite substantially, but you are looking at a lower high at present, okay? So again, HNS looking at the Fib high, take it to Fib low, bear with me. Okay, Fib 75% looking to potentially flush and move lower. So again, risk aversion again. So looking at risk aversion, both on the semiconductors, the biotechs, looking for weakness, okay, folks? Now let's go over to the uh, the actual VIX itself. Let's look at the VIX. Okay, let's go over to the VIX, the daily chart of the VIX at the moment. Looks like it wants to break out. Certainly has pushed back, okay, into support. Now looking to potentially push back higher. So again, VIX is indicating risk aversion, looking to move lower, okay? So that certainly is a conclusion. My understanding is that the market certainly looking to flush in the back of Mr. Trump's potential comments. We have a hawkish Fed. We've got three Fed speakers today, all going to be slanting towards a hawkish side. 60 minute chart, you're looking at support back down in this region here at 23.55. Again, it's going to be an interesting scenario. That's all I can say, really. It's uh, fundamental, certainly indicating risk aversion. Let's see if we can flush on the S&P. We left the gap above. The gap fill really has been left open, wide open. Okay, so you've got gap fill there. Okay, and again, you're looking at support down in this region here. Uh, you have support down at 2360, and then obviously you've got 2355. So let's see if we can test that 2360, 2355 support on the S&P 500. Even though we have pushed to a new high at 2371, let's see if we can actually retest that, close the gap, etc., etc. So certainly will be interesting uh, in terms of US session and Mr. Trump's comments. And I wish you the best in terms of the trading ability. Again, if Mr. Trump uh, does dwell on uh, fiscal policy and it's certainly perceived as being bullish, then dollar will rally and U.S. equities will follow as well. If vice versa, you are looking at selling the actual fact. My bias certainly is towards selling the fact, given the fact that oil is into resistance, copper certainly is weaker. Uh, Asian equities certainly uh, are looking like they're top heavy. European equities look top heavy with bearish patterns. Everything from an intermarket analysis perspective certainly indicates lower U.S. equities. On that note, please be sure to visit uh, TradeSignal and uh, visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.